What are some of the main things that residents in this community need to know about uh, Mr. Rindy's um, relocation into the area? Uh, well, Mr. Rindy has been around the Brainerd area since August 2011 and now he's relocating to Brainerd proper and some of the things that um, the community should be aware of is his offending history. He has a history of engaging in sexual contact with adolescent females with whom he was acquainted. Mr. Rindy is a level three offender who is moving to the city of Brainerd. However, he is not the only offender who is residing in the city of Brainerd. There are a number of other individuals who may be designated as a level two, a, as a level one, or who have no risk level at all. And so so it's more important to be aware of the relationships that people have with others, specifically children. Um, because we know that 90% of those convicted of a sex offense every year have no prior convictions for such. We also know that those who are convicted of a sex offense, 90% of them will not be convicted of another such offense. And in 90% of cases, offenders are known to the people they victimize. If anyone notices suspicious activity, I would strongly encourage them to contact law enforcement. Law enforcement has a very positive relationship with local supervision agents and those who are uh, in terms of supervised release agents as well. They know of the offenders who are registered in their community, who is on supervision, who is not, of those who are on supervision, what are the conditions they must abide by in order to remain on release, who are the contact agents, what are their phone numbers, how may they be reached, and so it's really best to leave that sort of investigative activity up to law enforcement. That's where reporting all concerning behaviors to law enforcement can be quite beneficial to the community. It also puts the onus on law enforcement to do their job, and it's not overstepping that yourself.